Hawaii's female leaders are taking action today, supporting victims of domestic violence. Yeah, they're making sure that they have everything they need to recover. Casey Lon of the state capitol with more on their efforts. Casey. Yeah, of course, a heavy topic we're covering here today, but a very important and positive story with what uh, these awesome women lawmakers from both the House and the Senate have been able to do. Uh, and, and it's been 25 years in the making. Yes. Representative Lauren Matsumoto is with me, uh, representing Mililani, Mililani Malka. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. We're going to show folks what's inside here in just a minute, just to give them an idea. But tell me how awesome it is to be marking uh, this occasion. A quarter century we've been doing this uh, yeah. and really supporting women in need. Yep, so this is the 25th annual Easter basket. And um, as with the Women's Legislative Caucus, I've had the honor of helping to run this for the last 11 years. But what's so great is you get to see not only the Women's Legislative Caucus, but the entire House, the Senate, yeah. all the staff, everybody comes together to help five different organizations. It's really grown over the years. We used to just have two. Yeah. Domestic Violence Action Center, the uh, parents and family, or parents and children Working together, together uh, Salvation Army, and, and, and while you're listing off the others, yes, we have, we <laughs> let's also show give people. To yeah. IHS. Excellent. And Mohalamai with the Women's Prison Project. Oh, excellent. So, yeah. so let's talk a little bit about, about what's inside these. And these are going to those organizations. Then they go to the, the families, the women yep. who need them. Um, tell me a little bit about what uh, you folks try and put in this. Yep. So they always go to women and children in need from those organizations. And so we have the necessities, like we have sheets and, you know, we have things like the Clorox wipes and Toilet deodorant. Cheese, all and that so, stuff. But when we realize what these baskets really are is it's that that sign of hope that there are others out there that are really wanting to be there and support. And so we always have, want to put something fun, like we have our yeah. stuffed animals and then of course have to have our chocolate covered yeah. marshmallow eggs. Something to treat. So it's a, we always hear back from the organizations that it's just something that is really uplifting. It's fun to get all those yeah. Easter baskets coming in. And so it's been just a wonderful, wonderful thing that we do every single year. We have some video from years past, some, some images if we can put that up there. Um, this is fun for you guys as well because you're doing something so positive for, for such a negative thing that exists in our society but the like you said the whole house everybody gets to do it. the gentlemen are up there helping you guys out and you yes. guys even vote on you, tell me about this we do and so to keep it even more fun is yeah. we have every year we have an easter bunny and an easter chick and it's a, one of our freshman legislators male freshman legislators yeah. the entire house and senate vote <laughs> and nobody knows who they are. Who's going to be the Easter Bunny and the until Easter Until they chick. show up. And okay. so what's fun about today is you get almost every legislator down here. And then at the end, we form this, you know, this fire line almost where we pass oh. the baskets. Everybody helps to load it up as well into the vehicles so that the organizations can take it back. So really, it's bringing everybody together, getting us to do something. We're all on the same page. It's wonderful. Representative Lauren Matsumoto, thank you so much for what you do, yeah. for being with us. Uh, and again, uh, great story here, a, a way to put something positive into something that, that's really a, still a, a really bad uh, thing in our society that we're all working to fight against. And by the way, if you want more resources on that effort and all the community groups that are doing that, there are many. They're online. We have a link at hawaiinewsnow.com. And if you or somebody you know needs help, of course, the number on your screen now, the National Domestic Violence Center hotline. We'll have much more coming up on Sunrise. For now, we'll send things back to Stephen Grace. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Casey. All right. Up next,